Let's see where he hit. And this is an attempted pass right here. Race 13, trying to get around race 37 in the blue there. Alexander Ekman. You got him. There's the, wow. Just a little too low, a little too close. And Alexander oh Ekman, presence of mind to immediately get himself up and out. Up and out of the race course. On the line of fire. Here's another look at it right here. Just crazy. Let's get our heart rates back to normal. Yeah. Scary moments here. They're jet racing here at Reno, but a good outcome with safe pilots and so the yellow airplane is Jeff Turney. He's the president of the jet class, very knowledgeable about the L-39s. He's checking out the yeah, wing, the left inspection. wing of Nathan Har Harneville. Just checking out, making sure the gear is okay, the there wing's we go. okay. Yeah. Be a great shot if it wasn't so dangerous. Yeah, it looks like he's uh, doing his inspection, talking Nathan down. He definitely lost a piece of his wing as well. You can yeah, see. Nathan Harnigal missing some of that. Yeah. Boy, the racing is fast and furious, and at those speeds, things happen fast. And look, the skill of the pilots is not only to fly and race well, but to recover well. Looks like he's just doing fine. Yeah, there's more more of that plane left than there was the on race Andres, 37. Yeah. yeah. Looking good, looking good. A little bit more. You got it. Yep. So Robin, number 54, is going to go around one more time. He did his job talking him down, doing the inspection. Robin closed out by Bob McCormick's winning effort here. Race number one, Bob McCormick. Athena defeating Robin, Jeff Turney. The real news right now is that Nathan Harnigal is safely on the ground. Absolutely. It's all good news. And I think that uh, even though Jeff Turney came in second in this race, he should get a medal for being a cool guy. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Joining the effort to uh, make sure both those uh, involved in the incident got back on the ground safely. And that's what we've got. And that's the great news. Let's see if we can get a look at that wing. I don't see. There's not a whole lot. Yeah. It seems to be maybe in the front ruffled on that. I believe he'll have a shot at tequila when he gets there, though. Oh my gosh! What always happens with me is every time I have an emergency, I'm fine during the emergency, and as soon as I'm done, as soon as everything's calm and everything cockpit's open, you step out, then I start to panic. Yeah. Which is a good time for it. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just going to wait for Robin to come in. See if we can get a view of that wing. Don't see a lot ruffled up on that. I don't think he caught any debris off the other other plane. That's that's good news. Look at the tail. I don't see anything. Yeah. Scared me. Oh, man. Everyone here very concerned about the welfare, as you would be, two jets. Making contact and not just a little love tap either. Right. Over 400 miles an hour when you did that love tap. Things happen so fast. These guys are on another level when it comes to reflexes and knowing what to do. I'll show it to you one more time here. And we still have a great race back in third and fourth. You've got uh, Alejandro Ekman. Nathan Edmund. Harnagel taking, and, oh, taking oh, it over. looks like he from did. Alexander. From Better. Alexander Ekman. But maybe looks are deceiving again. Looks like he's got flight that line, flight, though. Flight, flight, but flight, flight, watch. Flight, oh, flight. no, nope. It was the other way around. It gets reversed, but boy, it is close. Oh, I mean, nose to nose. I don't know. They are tight, tight, tight. Two great races going on. First and second, third, and fourth. The only one not mixing up is Charlie Camilleri in the back. And he's watching the action like we are. Bob McCormick is really pulling it out now. 
looks like Jeff Turney has lost something there. Speed is not what it was at the start of the race. It does not no appear kidding. to be. Third place just pulled out. Looks like Nathan Hartigle is a mayday. We'll keep you abreast of what's going on there. Bob McCormick is coming in for the checkered flag. Yep. Bob McCormick, Jeff Turney, number two. It's going to go unofficially to Bob McCormick with Jeff Turney in second this time around. A little bit of a turn of fortune. And Jeff Turney, we still got to, got an incident, a possible incident to look back at for you here. Four. Looks like Charlie Camilleri got number th got third. But here's what the incident that we're looking at right now. That's uh, Alejandro Ekman, Nathan Hartigal. They Ekman were pretty the tight racing. Out front there. And then just too oh, tight. Yes, oh, yes. There God. was contact there. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that was a definite hit right there. That is... That takes your breath away. That is not good. So those two have pulled out of the race. Charlie Camilleri was in fifth the whole time. And he was third. All right, we're keeping our eye on Alexander Ekman there in the wake of that, wake of that contact there with race 13, Nathan Harnagel. He is flying up. I'd like to see the, see as much of the wingtip as I can to see how much he's taken off. Boy, he's there's got, some off got, of it for sure. sure. did. That one is not going to be racing again here, barring any sort of miracles. Right now, we're concerned with him getting on the ground safely. Safely, exactly. Generally, they'll come in on 1-4 for maydays like this. That's the runway right in front of us. It's still stable, still going there. Three seven clear line runway, wind zero nine zero at four. If you're just joining us, that's race thirty seven. Alexander Ekman just sustained contact with race thirteen. All right, okay. now that was moments ago. We can go live to him landing right now. Here we come in. Gears down. Gears there and working. Difficult to maneuver an airplane with only half a wing, so. Yeah, missing part of that right wing, for sure. He's a professional. Okay. All right. Looks like he'll be fine. Yeah, folks, uh, he's uh, safely on the ground. Boy, that's good news right there. Wow, wow. scary moment. Look at that damage on that wing. You can see it right there. Seat on his uh, right wing. That is significant right there. That is a scary moment. And, no kidding. Uh, could have been so much worse. Could we are thankful for what we're seeing right now. We're seeing it right in front of us landing. He's doing fine. He's landed, landed runway eight. That is a salty bit of flying right there to sustain that and be able to put her down safely. We are so happy. Want to see Nathan come in? All right. Take one more look at what happened out there, and so happy that we have a good outcome, yes. safety-wise, at the end of that. But here's how it came about. This was the start of it. And Nathan was coming in, trying to make a pass on the outside right there. You see the right wing of Alexander Ekman's airplane, the blue airplane. Yeah. And here it comes. Just a tap. That's all it needs at 480 miles an hour. Oh. It's like it hit the underside, almost the inside the oh. wing was uh, up above. And I want to see Nathan's wing as well. Yeah, Nathan, Nathan may well have sustained some damage there. Uh, uh, That's a scary moment right there. So Alejandro is a rookie this year. He flew exa he did exactly what he needed to do. Get, he turned that airspeed into altitude, assessed the situation, called his mayday, did everything 100% correct, got on the ground safely. Got off the course. Going back to live video see where we are and there's the airplane oh look boy. again at that right wing of the aircraft you can see that was not a, just a that was not a paint scrape right there that was significant damage to the aircraft oh, look at the, the back tail. of the tail wing i bet you, you know what that is that's uh, damage from things coming off uh, chunks and bits we did see a good bit of debris fall to the desert floor there and on the way did more damage to that l39 right there Glad and he's alexander okay. ekman down safely and that's good news and Nathan's still up. Jeff Turney's on his wing. Jeff Turney's a very knowledgeable jet pilot. So uh, Nathan's still up in the air. So he's the one that uh, Yeah, they're doing an in-air uh, uh, inspection, inspection of his right. plane. Right. 
I've been here for a couple of um, taps of the jet class. One of them had a problem with the uh, gear coming down after a, a tap like that. So let's see what we have going on now. I don't know if they are in the area or maybe on the other side of the mountain doing that uh, inspection right now in the air. You should be right up above us. Let's see. It always makes it a little harder for me because I know everybody. I know their wives. I know their kids. I know their dogs. You know, so it's always a little. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, Charlie Camilleri's coming in on uh, one four, I believe. Oh, no, he's coming in on eight. Giving you a little bit of excitement on a Friday morning. Boy, a little bit more than you want. Uh, more than I'd want. We got the outcome we wanted, which was all pilots. Safe and sound. Plane's going to be a little different story, but that's the secondary concern. Right, Bob McCormick, just uh, safely our winner for this race. Number one, Athena, just landed on way eight.